Okay, gentlemen, here we are again inspecting exchanger components. We have here a channel cover. It's been in crude oil service. It's got a little uh, corrosion going on. We're doing inspection on the channel cover. They've set it out here so I could be in a nice quiet spot and talk to you guys. Anyway, we're looking at it. You notice originally it had some weld buildup here at the pass partition plate groove. And the gasket sealing surface all along this edge here looks in really good shape. Really good shape. No corrosion to speak of at the gasket sealing surface edges. What we are seeing though is we're seeing corrosion on the body portion, the portions that are exposed to the process. And it's crude, and apparently they close this exchanger in sometimes, and it sits there getting nice and warm with product in it. And it's corroded, and at first glance it looks pretty rough, but as you can see, I've done some pit gauge measurements with my Thorpe gauge, and really it's it's Although it's nearly the entire surface uniformly corroded, bridging from the machine, original machine surfaces, which you can still see in most places, and bridging down to the corrosion, it's actually going between 30 and 50 mils. So although it seems at first um, pretty well corroded, and it is the entire surface, this entire bottom see the lifting lugs on the top so this is the bottom pass I'm not sure if it's the inlet or the outlet quite frankly it doesn't matter because we're only interested in where it is at in relation to the original construction drawing so it would be the bottom pass and we see here it's a single partition plate split so it's a two it's a two pass exchanger this particular one happens to be an AES it has a floating head I should take you inside and show you the floating head. It's it's seeing similar corrosion like this, general corrosion over the entire body. But luckily, the gasket surfaces have held quite well, and as a result, it has not corroded the gasket sealing surface and allowed it to leak from the shell side or the tube side to the shell side. And as long as it's not bypassing, it's probably not that much of a concern. This cover is little over three inches thick so there's quite a bit of corrosion allowance built into that in fact I'll walk over here and put you guys on pause and walk over and show you guys the floating head okay guys I don't know if you are still with me here's that floating head on the same exchanger notice it's got corrosion and it does have some preferential to the weld but it being a floating head, there's also a lot of corrosion in the actual body. But when we look at the gasket sealing surface, in, you know, a floating head doesn't have a big gasket, big wide gasket, but you can see it's corroded everywhere except where the gasket sits. So as a result, it's actually not in that bad a shape. And it's almost an inch thick, so it has plenty of thickness as far as material above the minimum thickness amount. So, anyway, thanks for coming along. Talk to you guys later. Bye.